Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a top six. All right, Rubik's Cube magic. What is it? Well, it's magic with a Rubik's Cube, right? Rubik's Cubes are coming back in popularity, not that they ever left, right? It's the Rubik's Cube, it's awesome. It's been around for forever, right? It's been around forever. And it's really gaining a lot of popularity in Japan and Tokyo. A lot of those magicians are seeing the coolness of the cube because it kind of presents this impossible situation to your spectators because people believe it's impossible to solve. Just like they believe it's impossible to find one card out of 52, they also believe it's impossible to solve one of these bad boys, let alone memorize one. And so what some of these systems are now doing are allowing you to do some pretty impossible stuff. But there's a lot out there. There's a lot of cube magic out there already. So how do you sift through it? How do you spend your money wisely? How do you get the cube system or the cube magic tricks that you want and for the price you want. Well, I'm gonna look at the top six tricks and break them down one by one. Let's go. Coming in at number six is Instant Rubik from Submit to Hager. This is a flash trick. It is an instant cube solve, instant cube solve. Basically what happens is you walk out with an unsolved cube and you can slam it down on the table and the moment you slam it down, it becomes a solved cube just like that. But that is the routine. You have to do it like that. There's no other way to do it. It's, so this works really great as an opener, but there's not much else you can do with it other than uh, a flash change. So you could also bring it out an unsolved cube, smash it to the table, and then it becomes a pile of candy or something else. In the box, you're gonna get the gimmick. You're gonna get a cube. It's kind of okay, it's not great, it's kind of stiff. And you're gonna get the display board that you'll use, and you have to use the display board. You have to use it, that's the other downside to this. And you get the decals. Uh, this trick looks great, looks like a camera trick. Uh, probably that said, it probably looks better on camera than it does in real life. It takes absolutely no skill, and you get a seven minute video, and it's super easy to learn. Number five, Recube from CHH Magic. Now, Recube, what this is, is it is mini cube magic instead of full size cube magic. So a lot of the things going forward are gonna be with full size cubes and their shells and their respective magic tricks. However, uh, if you feel that's too bulky and you'd rather carry around something small in your pocket, maybe you wanna do cube magic, but you don't wanna like totally invest. You wanna do a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, you do recube because it's the same thing, but done on a smaller scale, okay? Uh, you're gonna get two mini cubes. Again, not great, they're really stiff. You're gonna get two necessary shells of course you'll get the decals and you'll get a 17 minute video now the plus size is of course pocket space uh, they're small uh, you can do some of the same exact effects downside is uh, their size issues between the shells and the actual cubes and size issues between the shells themselves they're not even the same size so on a larger cube uh, between the shell and the actual cube an eighth of an inch doesn't show that much but on a small cube an eighth of an inch shell it's gonna look a lot different in fact even in the video they say don't don't stick the shell side by side with the actual cube because your spectators will notice they're not the same size. So again, portable and priced more effective, but not as visual as a full size cube. Number four, Cube Impossible. Cube Impossible is also a small cube effect. However, it's more of a one hit wonder. It really doesn't do a lot more. Uh, I only put this one above the other one because uh, there's no shell involved. It's a totally different trick. And I think as far as magic goes, I think uh, Cube Impossible is more magical looking than Recube, but that's just my opinion. Uh, this is a keychain effect. It's a keychain effect based off an old classic of magic, Badlands Bob. Badlands Bob is is a die that sits in a little wooden box and there's you know one numeric on the top you hand that box to your spectator and you say can you turn the dice over well the box is too shallow and the lid is glued on so there's no way you can get that dice to flip over however when you give it to the magician they are able to flip the die over in the box well this is the same exact trick but done with a rubik's cube and they have found out how to give it a kicker ending. So you have an unsolved cube in the box. Your spectator can't roll it over, but you can. And then you shake it one more time, and not only does the cube roll over again, but now it's completely solved. This is a pocket-sized miracle. It's really fun. If you wanna do cube magic, but you don't wanna invest again, don't wanna get into all the craziness, but you still wanna have one cube trick somewhere in your repertoire, this could be a good one. This comes with two gimmicks and the secret tool. The video is 36 minutes long, and again, this one is great for your budget. Number three, Real Cube from Henry G and RMS. Uh, this is a complete 
Cube system. So now we're getting into the big boys, and uh, I would just say Real Cube is great for somebody who wants a full system and who wants it to be affordable. So if you want a full system and you're looking for affordability, Real Cube from Henry G is the way to go. You're gonna get a full system, okay? Two cubes, two good cubes, and two magnetic shells, each shell unique from the other. So you're gonna get two unique shells, and they're both the magnetic kind, which are awesome. One is in fact a 360 shell. That means you can show the cube all the way around. Of course, you get the decals that you'll need for the shells, and your video is one hour and 21 minutes long. So this one checks all the boxes. Two real cubes, two unique shells, a long video with plenty of magic and it's priced affordably. This is the one you're looking for if you're looking for a complete system. Number two, Rubik's 360 from Henry Harrius and Vanishing Incorporated. All right, so now we're getting into the big stuff. This is the big boys. These are the heavy hitters. Vanishing Incorporated can't go wrong. They put out quality stuff and Henry Harrius is not just a Rubik's magician. This guy is a real magician and he takes up our number two and our number one slot. This is the best cube system on the planet, in my opinion. So your number two and your number one, this is what you want. Rubik's 360 in the box, you're getting a 360 shell, okay? Completely 360 shell, show it all the way around. And you're getting a real cube and you're getting the decals and your video is one hour and 10 minutes long and you have 12 tricks. 12 tricks. You can show all six sides, a single shell, perfect angles, and best of all, this thing does what no other shell can do. It can actually give you one full rotation on one side. One full rotation on one side for that extra bit of convincing. Now, personally, I think you need two shells to have a full system. So that's why I'm gonna say you wanna buy this, but you wanna buy your number one slot too. And number one is Rubik's Dream from Henry Harris and Vanishing It Incorporated. Rubik's Dream is the original set, okay? And I think if you're gonna buy anything, you should buy Rubik's Dream first. Buy Rubik's Dream first, okay? Because what you're gonna get is, you're gonna get two full-size cubes, okay? Two full-size great cubes. You're gonna get one shell and you're gonna get the decals. And you're also gonna get the mini cube and the mini cube shell. All right, so here's your mini cube that you've been looking for now, but you get it from Henry Harris and Vanishing Incorporated, so it's a way better quality. And a lot of the tricks that you can do with the larger shells, of course, you can do with the smaller. So here's your portability. You want your portability, but you also want quality. And I think it, with, you're gonna get the quality from Henry Harris and Vanishing Incorporated. You're gonna get that from them and really nobody else. You're also gonna get a little velvet bag, which is awesome, and you can use that in some of the tricks as well. Your video is 46 minutes long. It's totally great. Like I said, Henry's a real magician. You're gonna get tons and tons of tricks. You get Rubik's Dream, okay? You get Rubik's Dream and you watch the video all the way through and then you decide, what do I want my shell to be? Do I want my shell to be a solved shell or do I want it to be an unsolved shell? Watch the video all the way through and then make that choice. Also, think about if you're gonna get Rubik 360 later, you'll want Rubik's 360 to be an opposite shell. So when I got Rubik's Dream, the first thing I thought was, I want my shell to be unsolved, okay? I want my shell to be unsolved and to do unsolved to solved effects because I knew that when Rubik's 360 came out, I would want that 360 cube to be a solved shell because when you have that full rotation, you want that to be a solved shell so it looks like it's a completed finished thing. So I would get Rubik's Dream, make my shell unsolved, and then later save up my pennies and get a Rubik's 360 and make that a solved shell. Between those two, you'll have every shell you need, not to mention you'll have it on a smaller scale too. You'll have the mini cube and the uh, mini cube shell, but you'll also get real cubes. You'll also get the velvet bag. And then between those two, you'll have a myriad of tricks so that you could be a master at this. All right, so that's my top six. You tell me if you're into cube magic or if if you're in Rubik's Cubes. Are you in a Rubik's Cubes? Uh, maybe this could be something that you start getting into. This could be your entry point into doing magic tricks. Maybe, maybe if you're a card collector or a cardist, but you also do Rubik's Cube stuff and you've been thinking about, well, I wonder if I could be a magician. Maybe you could do Rubik's Cube magic because this stuff is pretty easy. It's not that hard. Rubik's Cube magic is not that difficult and the sleight of hand is way easier than it is with a deck of cards. So this could be your, this could be your ticket into magic. Of course, I wanna thank Hocus-Pocus.com for allowing me to have all of these tricks so that I could do these reviews for you. And if you would like to see the full video reviews for each of these, head on down to Hocus-Pocus.com today and make your selections. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.